So here we have a muscle car, which I'm going to be upgrading next. I'm taking it to the auto shop right now. Uh, there is a lot of cool upgrades you can do to this car, and I'm going to show you all of them right here. So the first thing you can do is you can even make it into a Benny's car for $500,000 almost. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, maybe in another video, but it is a really cool car as a Benny's. Um, first, you can have all the regular armor up to 100%, and it's a lot cheaper on this car. It's only $30,000 instead of $50,000 for 100% armor, uh, which I find that pretty cool because this is a really cool car, and most people who have it do use it. Same with the brakes, it's only $7,000 for race brakes, so if you're really serious about this car, you can make it to the best of its abilities uh, with only $7,000 race brakes. Now we move over to the bumpers, the front bumper, um, there's a couple of them. There's a couple, there's the painted and large splitter, the painted and chin spoiler, uh, the extended chin spoiler, and the custom chin spoiler. I personally am not going to put anything on the front for the bumper. Uh, I don't think it needs it, but you guys can if you want. Here are just the options. Now for the rear bumpers, uh, it's only one option. You can just make it a painted rear bumper. I find that pretty cool. I'm going to do that. It's only $1,000. So that's a pretty cool customization option for that. We move over to the engine. Uh, again, it's fairly cheap to make it um, a level 4 engine. It's only... It's almost $7,000, which in this game isn't really a lot. I'm not going to do it. Actually, yeah, I yeah. am. I made it because it's very cheap. I could do it. So uh, you can do that, and it's a really cool upgrade for this car. Uh, you can make it go really fast for cheaper, which I find that really sick. For the exhaust, you can make it chrome. Uh, I found that's pretty cool, but I want to see the other options first. There's a bigger chrome exhaust, and then there's the side exhaust. I think the side exhaust is pretty cool. I'm going to put that on my car. Um, I personally like it. Um, I don't really know. I like it on the back, but I think it looks really sick on this car on the side, so I'm just going to keep it like that. We move over to the grill. You can change the grill a lot to a, a de-chromed grill or a painted light surround grill. I'm going to make it the, the painted one because I think this one looks the most clean and it just matches well with the color of the car. Moving over to the hood, you can have a couple of options where you can put some vents, air hoods, all that fun stuff. You can even get, since it's a muscle car, you can get the engine popping out of the front. I find that really cool, and it's also really cheap. It's almost $2,400 for it, so I'm going to do that just to make the car look as cool as possible. It is a muscle car, so I think it matches well. You can change the horn to anything you want, uh, like most cars. The lights, uh, you can change the color. Uh, it's the same price, I think, for every car, so I'm just going to do that. You can even put the Neon Leo on it like other cars. I don't normally put those on my cars. I don't see the point. Now, uh, if you did get off the street, you need a tracker and full coverage. So I'm just going to do that so I can keep the car afterwards. The license plate, you can change to uh, yellow on black, yellow on blue, or blue on white, one, two, and three. Um, I'm going to make it yellow on black because it matches the color of the car. Uh, you can respray the color to everything. I'm just going to check out the different options. There are some cool colors. I think muscle cars, like, I feel like they work better in a, a vibrant color, like orange, yellow, or red. Or, uh, the blue one looked kind of sick. I'm going to go back to the yellow uh, one, or the orange. Where is it? That looks pretty cool. That one looks really clean. Let's see, the bright orange. I think I'm going to go with the race yellow. Don't I'm going to choose that. Ready. Let me know in the comments what color you guys would use on a muscle car. Now to go to the secondary color, I'm going to make it black because that works really well in the car. It looks really nice right now. Um, you can also get other colors and oh, the blue looks really sick. I'm going to make it blue. That looks so sick that I was going through it. You can make other colors in different types of colors as well like metals, metallic, um, mate. So it's really cool. Um, here are the metal ones. You can choose gold and stuff like that. I find that really sick. And then you can put a crew emblem on it. For a roll cage, if you drive crazy, you can get a roll cage. Uh, they're more just for looks, and um, I don't know if they actually help with the car, but I assume that they're more just for looks. You can get a stunt cage, which is a reddish color, or you can get uh, a roll cage and an upgrade on the inside, which I find pretty cool. The spoiler, you can get a little spoiler. That looks pretty cool. Make it look more like a race car. Um, I'm going to use that. It's like pretty cool. It's only one option. I'm going to make the suspension as low as possible to do drifts with. I find that pretty sick that you can do that to the car. You can put transmission on it for 
fairly cheap, only $8,000 on this car. I feel like that's a steal. Same with the turbo. The turbo is $20,000 off and it takes the acceleration to the max. So if you're really serious about this car, like I said before, you can do those upgrades to it. Going to the wheel type, I'm going to use the muscle car wheels. You can get them in chrome or regular color. I'm going to be looking for a cool wheel style to use. I think I just passed a really cool one. These ones look pretty sick. I want to make the car look as cool as possible. That Ooh, these ones are kind of cool. I think I'm going to use these ones though, the five star. Those look sick. Uh, I can change the color of them to anything I want. I'm going to explore the options. Sunset red, mm, I don't know. Ooh, these orange ones kind of look sick. Not going to lie. Let's see the other colors. That one looks pretty cool. The race yellow works well with it. I kind of like when using tires, I kind of like using a similar color to what's on the car, but different and vibrant as well. The fluorescent blue I really like on a lot of cars. Uh, purple looks pretty sick. These ones are locked, so I won't worry about those. I'm going to go with the fluorescent blue. I know it doesn't match the colors on the car, but I think it looks really sick. Uh, that's just my opinion. I'm going to make them custom tires. You can even make them bulletproof, but I don't really do that uh, unless I really have to. I don't really. I only drive like my pressure mark too, so I don't have to worry about bulletproof tires. And now moving over to the wheelie bar. So if you want to do wheelies with this car, you can put a wheelie bar on so it doesn't scratch the back of the car. I will show you how to do a wheelie after this. After I leave the auto shop, I'm not, I don't. I don't put it on personally. I, I don't like the wheelie bar in the car. I think it makes it like less stylish. I'm going to make the windows limo. I do that for all my cars. And now I'm going to take this car to the ground and see how well it can perform. And like, I find, before I just show the performance, I find it so cool that you can get this car off of the street and you can upgrade it to this for really cheap. I find that really cool that Rockstar does that. And now I'm just gonna show you. So to do a wheelie, depending what you're on, you're just gonna hold the buttons on the um, right side of your controller at the same time to rev it and then you let go and then boom, wheelie. So this car, I already know, it's also snowy so it's gonna be hard to turn, like right there. It's, uh, it's not overly fast. I mean, for a muscle car it is fast but it's not gonna be the supercar in anything. Um, it is a really cool looking car though, which it's more for the looks and the performance is decent on it So I would recommend getting this car if you find it off the street. I mean just look at how cool this thing looks. That's crazy and Then uh, that's just my opinion on it So all three cars that were in this video I would recommend getting if you see them on the street If you guys today, I'm going to be customizing the BMW in GTA 5 I'm here showing you the upgrade right now so you can put armor on it. The armor is actually a little bit cheap on this car because it is a road sports car. You can find it on the road. So if you find this on the road, I'm just going to show you guys the upgrade you can get and maybe it's worth keeping. So you can change the brakes again for cheaper. Everything's a little bit cheaper on this car, which I feel is really nice. You can ch make the engine max. You can change the exhaust on it. I'll show you guys right here. I like this exhaust, the square one. Uh, the hood, you can make carbon. I don't really like the carbon hoods. I like the plain colors that you can change. Uh, you can change the horn, the lights. You can make um, different colors, which is always cool. Um, you, uh, the plate, I'm going to make yellow and black. The respray color, I want to see what color I can make this car. I feel like there's a bunch of cool colors this one might uh, fit with. It's more of a, like... Um, professional car more more plain I feel like in my opinion I might just use a silver like this one or a steel um, you can get a roll cage in it which for a business car is kind of weird but I'm gonna do it anyways you can make the roof carbon the spoiler you can put a mini one on I'm gonna put a mini spoiler on like that uh, suspension you can make it very low I'm going to make it very low. And then you can put transmission on it for a little bit cheaper and turbo for a little bit cheaper as well, which I feel is really cool. And then all the different uh, um, wheels. They added some new wheels actually to off-road. This one isn't an off-road car though, so I'm not going to use that. I spotted some wheels earlier actually I was going to look into using. Let me see if I can find them. 
I like these wheels. These are kind of like the Mercedes Maybach wheels. So I'm going to use these. Those are 74,000, which is kind of uh, excessive. But I know we can put the little um, custom tire thing next to it, which I feel is pretty cool. And then you can change the windows to limo. So there's no upgrades that really, there's no big upgrades, but there's upgrades that make it look really clean and slick and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys the performance. I don't even have to drive to the airport, but I'll show you guys the performance. I already think it's a really cool car. It's very low price and there's lots of upgrades you can do to it to make it look really cool. This is just what I made it in like two minutes I made this car. Why are these pedestrians driving so crazy? I think the wheels are the, are the best part on this car. I need to drive out of this area. So for a sports car and a street car, it's actually not slow. Like this car is ripping. Like this car is pretty fast for a sports car. So I give it good points on that. Let me just pull over here. I think the best part about my car are the wheels. I, I really like the wheels and the, the color. It's a very clean car, clean looking, slick. I like uh, the performance is actually pretty good. The um, the It goes very fast for a sports car. So I'd give it like an eight out of 10. So today I'm going to be customizing this car I found on the street. It is a Mercedes car uh, SUV. So let's get into it. First things first, you can have uh, the max armor as well like any other car. Uh, this armor is a little bit cheaper because it is a street car you can find it on the streets. I find that pretty cool if you're new to the game and you find it on the streets, you can get armor for cheaper, um, which is a very good feature in this game. Same with the brakes, it's all the same, sports, race, street, uh, and it's all for cheaper as well. So those brakes uh, could definitely help you if you're new to the game as well. I don't use them in these videos because I normally don't drive these cars afterwards. But it's all the same for that. Now the bumpers, you can make a custom front bumper, which just makes the bumper a little bit bigger. I'm going to put that on my car. And then you can do the same with the back bumper, just make it a little bit bigger. It surrounds the exhaust. I find that pretty cool, so I'm going to use that. Now I move over to the engine. You can make it as fast as possible. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I, I doubt I'm going to use this car at all. I'm just using it for the video. The exhaust you can change to a dual exhaust or uh, like the big dual exhaust. Um, so I'm going to use this one. I think it fits really well for the car and it works well. Uh, you, you can get explosives on these cars. I, I never put explosive on my cars because it doesn't really do anything. It's a waste of money. Uh, you can get a grill. The more um, the logo will be bigger on this grill. I like this one personally. I think it looks really nice. You can change the horn like always. Uh, I'm not going to because. I don't use any other horns. Uh, the lights you can change as well. I'm going to change them to blue because I think those look really nice on this car. And you can also get the neon layout. Since I found this on the street, you are going to have to put a tracker and full coverage on it uh, if you want to keep the car. So I recommend doing that if you want to keep the car. For the license plate, I don't know what color I'm going to use yet. So I'm going to wait for the license plate color, the respray, the primary color. I was looking at some other colors earlier. I'm, I want to use like a gray. Uh, Sort brush silver. Let me go down to metallic. I like this for his brush silver. That looks pretty cool, but I like this one as well. Just regular silver. So I'm going to use that and the secondary color. Oh, I'm not on metals, I don't think. I'm going to use the same color just to keep it all in color. That looks really nice right now. Um, the skirts, you can put a little skirt on the side of the car. I'm going to put that there. Fairly cheap, all the upgrades on this car are fairly cheap. You can put a little spoiler on top of it as well. I'm gonna put that on, I think that looks pretty pretty uh, sick. Uh, suspension, you can make it as low as you want. I'm gonna put a, comp a competitive, ex uh, I'm going to put a competitive suspension on it. I think that looks really cool. And uh, it, you, it's almost like you can turn this, this regular car off the street into like a somewhat of a race car. Obviously it's not gonna win any races. You can put transmission on it, it doesn't really do anything to the acceleration, so it's kind of a waste. The turbo puts a lot of acceleration into it, so I'd recommend getting that if you want to use this car. The wheel type, you can change the wheel type to any wheel on this car. Um, I'm just going to look around for a wheel I want to use. I like this one actually. These ones look sick. Um, so I'm going to use these. The wheel color, ooh, that looks really clean. I'm going to try to look for a wheel color that works really well with this car, that looks sick. The red ones look really cool. The orange ones look cool, same with the yellow. A couple of clean colors, the green. Green looks pretty sick actually. 
Oh, the blue looks really nice. That looks really nice. And then I have these locks, but there's a bunch of other colors. I'm actually going to go ahead and use the fluorescent blue. Those look really sick. I know they don't match the color of the car, but I don't care. <laughs> Um, you can make the tires bulletproof like any other tire, and you can also put custom tires for $5,000. I don't see the the point of doing that unless you really want to. And you can put different tire smoke on it as well. I find that pretty cool. Uh, the windows, I'm going to make limo, but you can make them other tints. I find that really cool. And those are all the customizations you can do to this car. I'm going to see the performance of this car, see if it's even worth taking it off the streets. And also, I'm going to be doing this with some other cars from the shop, um, off the street, a bunch of cool cars, a bunch of customization videos. So be sure to subscribe for that and subscribe for other GTA content. And let's see how fast this goes. I can already tell it's not going to be that fast of a car. Oh, let me turn the music off so I don't get copyrighted. <laughs> I um, What is wrong with my camera? Okay, there we go. So this car, I feel like you could definitely use in a car show or something, or just like a, a roleplay server. I mean, it's there's not as much looks as other cars, but it definitely looks pretty cool in my opinion. This car, um, with the tires and the color and the windows, I think it looks really sick. Uh, if you find it on the streets, I would definitely recommend getting it because it is a pretty cool looking car. It is an SUV. It's definitely not going to win any races or anything, but it is a pretty sick looking car. That's just my opinion. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe because it helps me a lot. And thank you for watching.